I want to I just have to figure out what I'm going to open up with. Um, half evil killing machine, half hero clicks informative <laughs> podcast. One of us. One of us. No, half yeah. hero clicks uh, podcast, video cast, half yeah, online I, dating I profile. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what we're going to do. If we say it in unison, it's way creepier. So, so give it a... Half Hi, hour. welcome to the Stop Click, where we are 50%. So, do you want to do 50% we're video podcast? We're saying and then half we're both, video podcast, half dating profile. And we're going to match... Oh, ladies. 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 Oh, oh. He's going to say it as perfect as possible. So ladies. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Wait on, so... <laughs> Welcome to the Stop Click, the only show that's half Hero Clicks video cast and half online dating profile. Ladies. Yeah. I'm Raven. I'm MJ. How are you? And on this awesome 5th of July. 5th of July. We hope you guys had a really great 4th of July, by the way. Indeed. Uh, we're going to be talking about what our last week episode should have been. Um, due to technical difficulties, we weren't able to film last week. But we're going to make up for it today. We are going to be talking about the set rotation. Yes. The set rotation has finally... It's finally here. Things have rotated. Modern has changed forever. Uh, let's see. On the uh, on the DC side, we went all the way Teen up to Batman. And Batman. Teen Titans and Batman. Now that those were not really a surprise to me. Yeah. I, I I fully expected Teen Titans and Batman to go. The only real thing I could really think of that that I, I was like, well, that's kind of different, is that because of Wolverine and the X Men not going on the Marvel side. Is that you only have Marvel team bases? You don't have any DC team bases. Oh, you? Like I was like, that's that kind of true. strange. I mean, granted, team bases are not the powerhouse they once were in uh, modern tournaments, and a lot of stores just house ban them. I'll be honest, I I would say at least eighty percent of the stores I've been to house ban team bases. Actually, um, a few days before the rotation, I uh, was finally able to get rid of my Batman chase set. The Batman chase. Set. I tried getting rid of that set. For God knows how long. Well, it, the thing is, it was the, the the key draw of the Batman chase was, uh, Green was the Green Lantern Batman. Batman, and that wasn't just due to in part do War of Light, but it was due to in part that you know that was that was that that's number one. I, I felt like the rarest one. You know, yeah. Omega Batman really didn't see a whole lot of play, uh, and then you know, Speeding Bullets Batman was was decent. I think the, the one of the most playable ones was the Suit of Sorrows Batman because I think he was only eighty points. Yeah, and he had that tr- crazy charge flurry, and he had it. A lot. Like, for 80 points, I think I, I pulled them once in the sealed for Batman when we were doing it, and I just completely destroyed everybody I went up against that day just because I had so many attacks. So, what are some of the key figures that are going to get, um, that are gone now with the DC side? We'll the DC, DC, the first. DC side first. Okay, so, um, man, I was thinking about actual, actual modern pieces that were in uh, Batman or Teen Titans. Uh, Bat Cycle? The Bat Cycle. Yeah, the, the, sorry, the Bat Cycle is, is in one of those sets. Um... Man, I, other than other than that, it's really like I'll be honest. It feels kind of like a Marvel powerhouse these days. <laughs> yeah, doesn't not it? On, on reflection, you know. Uh, I actually fully expected uh, Teen Titans to uh, not Teen Titans, um, Wolverine the X Men to rotate, and I guess that was just because Iron Man three came out and Wolverine the X Men came out like four months later. But I never saw any Wolverine the X Men in yeah, stores. Yeah. They just evaporated. I never got to buy any boosters. I literally never got to buy a booster. I for bought Wolverine. one brick and pulled the Colossus yeah, or Cyclops. Cyclops, yeah. So I mean, I, I really felt like I I, I didn't actually. Th- I thought they were going to rotate uh, Wolverine the X Men, but apparently they, they they made the cut. Now, granted, I don't think other than maybe um, Phantom X, I really don't think any of the Wolverine the X Men pieces made Spiral. it. Spiral. Oh, Spiral and Shatterstar for the same reason. Yeah. Uh, so the, but they're know, still modern. That's and and ma- oh, there's magic in there, too. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah. So there, there's quite a few pieces that might still might still see from time to time so, in the modern game. DC, I, I can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not really much. The, the really, I mean, well, the thing is. You're, you know what? The only thing that really got affected was the trading market. That's it. Yeah, there, there's a little bit of, of, of trading market. People, people literally don't like pieces that are not modern playable. A lot of stores... Kind of don't kind of don't do that, you know. I mean, they they, they are modern only places, uh, including this place here, um, which is Roll to Play in Roll-to-play. Coppell, Texas. Look at that! Your one stop shop for anything board and or card game. If you're in the seven five zero one nine area, mm-hmm. come see us. We're at one fifty South Didn't Tap Road, Sweet. Don't you we're know. just too sweet. <laughs> oh, just too sweet. Uh, yeah. no, no, that's right. that was terrible. <laughs> but bills are paid. So back to our discussion. Um, so now, obviously, when you're talking about Amazing Spider-Man, on the other hand, being yes. rotation. Okay, yeah, we'll, we have. Uh, well, let's see what we're rotated out. And Marvel was ASM and back. 
ASM and be behind it, yeah. Which is the 75th anniversary of Marvel. Yeah, so no more... Um, Let's see Phoenix. Here. Dark Phoenix. No more Dark no Phoenix. No more M10 Iron Man. No, M10, I'm sorry. The M10. M10 oh, yeah, 10th anniversary. M10 Iron Man, yes. Yeah, that, he's gone. He's gone. So our Relic Hoser, our resident Relic Hoser, he, he, he showed up a lot of worlds. He really did. Um, so uh, M10 Iron Man, Dark Phoenix, and then in... Um, in ASM, it's Brother Voodoo and Ghost Rider. Yeah. Those were... Now, granted, Ghost Rider, once again, since the Heroes for Hire ATA got nerfed, uh, really not the powerhouse he once was, but still a pretty ridiculous piece. Yeah. Very cool sculpt. Never got my hand on one before... Uh, I pulled uh, two of them. You pulled and two? I, two of, like, when I first, when I first started, the first booster yeah. pack I opened was a... Uh, this is right when ASM came out. Yeah. was a Ricochet. Uh-huh. He was 50 bucks at the time. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you know, we'll just give him his price support. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Gave him away. Yeah. And then I pulled two Ghost Riders and traded them off for like a Blackheart or some crap yeah, like that. Yeah, well. Uh, Blackheart was kind of neat. So he's, but he's yeah. rotated as well. So. Oh, now, um, Nightmare. The one oh, the guy that's correct. like, uh, well, if I don't win the map roll, well, all I, your characters get minus one. Minus one attack to all hold for the whole game. Uh, pretty ma- And the thing is, lately uh, I've seen him make a resurgence with his particular synergy with Arcade. Because yes. Arcade wants to pick maps so bad that they'll play Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's, by the way, I, I, I have, that, that is not fun. So whoever has Arcade's... Like, if you're playing a fun tournament, please don't pull out Arcade and Nightmare and so, Arcade's gallery what, what, what map. What Arcade <laughs> does is he gets a massive boost in stats and all these crazy things from playing on his own map, Arcade's World. Yeah. And he gets to target you from anywhere. No, he yeah. gets to target you from any friendly character. Yeah, it's it's not a fun. He's he got 10 psychic blasts. It's like a truck. Ridiculous amount of points. Not not fun in, in no, any stretch uh, yeah, of imagination. Yeah. So don't be, a, don't be one of those people. Don't, don't be one of those people who's yeah. like, hey, you want to play a fun game? The, 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 the same people that would ask to run Chanos in a fun game. Yeah, well, you know. Know what Chanos is fun. I don't care what you say. I, I just want to kill box. I just want to kill box a little bit. That's this fun. guy. Anyway, it's not modern legally either. More that that's a really old set. Um, anyway, so what, what? So out of this, what changes in the meta? Not an incredible amount. I mean, on the one hand, I'm kind of relieved to see Brother Voodoo go. Um, he kind of felt a little overpowered for his points. Of all oh, the pieces, yeah, he like he, he he very easily squeezed into a ton of different teams, especially when the ROC was no tactics. Yeah. you couldn't tell which teams were going to see that him on, and he would literally take your biggest bruiser and make him smack the crap out of your whatever support. Whatever, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I cannot tell you how many times I saw Kyle get mind controlled <laughs> and do like the double attack with plus one attack and just sweep the entire board of support pieces. And then all of a sudden you're like, all right, and then place Kyle the furthest away from me so he's not making any attacks after that. Yeah. You know, so you, you, you saw a lot of very dirty tricks. Plus, I, I, I think what that allowed people to see though was that mind control as a power wasn't isn't a really great power unless you can ignore the damage from my the unavoidable damage from mind control and yeah, mind get, control doesn't matter unless it's a free action and you don't take yeah, no yeah damage. you take no damage yeah. you can, and, and, and you get <laughs> plus one to, you yeah. notice uh, who was it now that has that same mind control gives them plus one to their stats I have no idea it was another character in ASM now that does mind control and gives them plus one to their stats as well isn't he we, doesn't get the plus one against them but he gives them plus one if you succeed okay that's I not, forgot who it was that's not too terrible that's not too but terrible. it wasn't seventy nine no 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 so it, was it wasn't it wasn't yeah no, I think it's eighty two is yeah eighty two but yeah once again he also had like nineteen Super Senses or 18, 18 Super, super Yeah. Super Senses back, Prog. Back when 18 was a really big number to swing at. Yeah. 18 was definitely a valuable. Now you just see it almost everything. Yeah. Brother Voodoo uh, kind of saw an incredible amount of meta play during his entire time. I can't think of a single time I saw ROC list that I didn't see at least one Brother Voodoo in the top eight. Yeah. Like that that was just the powerhouse he is. Because right. he can turn the tide. He really can. So, with that said, we're going to talk about what we think. It's gonna maybe replace some of these figures. Well, as far as replacement, I don't think there's a brother. Uh, nothing is beatable by nothing is brother voodoo like. I think I think they realized that piece was very overpowered. How much are super scroll points point wise? One seventy. One seventy. Yeah. Yeah. So so I mean super scroll. Yeah, yeah they, I think they they, they they learned from their mistake. Yeah. Brother voodoo. Now when you when you talk about no tactics ROC and tactics ROC, the meta shifts completely because you'll never see super scroll. In a tactics area. Oh no! Like because so it's it, green batteries. Yeah, so it's it's, it's always it's always like crazy batteries. It's always uh, it's you know it's super. There's tons of entities everywhere. Um, you know, I really I mean right now the 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 tactics meta is basically characters that can't take damage like everybody else. Like you see gluttonies, you see dupes, yeah. you see a lot of that. We saw Felix Foss, which Miller said you can't make turns, which by the way he's he's I think he's, he's, still, he's banned from he's, he's still he's still banned from ROC. Until they eradicated him. Until until they eradicated him he might he might he might get unbanned, probably not. Um so you know you have uh these these kind of huge overarching changes in meta 
that are really kind of interesting to watch. But once again, I, I actually don't care much for Tactics ROC, mostly because I feel it's kind of exclusionary because I can't think of viable pieces well, without I, I, enemies. I think you're going to start liking Tactics because of the round table. Well, once again, and the round table's neat. I just, once again, it's the entities. When you t go to a big tournament, you're going to see entities. I don't think entities are going to matter very much at this point. I, I, st I still think entities are a force to be reckoned with, and they change the game a little too much. You can really fix a lot of problems with a lot of characters. Um, anyway. So, uh, with that, I mean, there. it seems like Heroclix is moving more into the world of... Um, beat stick setups there's there's a lot of beat stick setups or, or kind of i mean interesting combat issues you know no, i actually got a far perfect character that'll that'll rival um brother voodoo what's that the starter set cap the starter set cap free action moves are terrible the people. starter set cap hulk. The hulk, sh hulk should not be allowed to move as a free action ever i don't think ever i don't think i think it should be one of his things you guys um, really want to piss people off run a 500 point team do starter set cap at 50 yeah. nick fury from age of ultron at 45 uh, Nick Fury is really amazing and, piece too. Uh, Scarlet Witch, Major Ultron at fifty-five, <laughs> and then Hulk at 300. 300, 350, whatever. What, any any Hulk, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can so do you charge and then give Cap a free action and move him back. So it's a hypersonic Hulk. It's a hypersonic Hulk. It's what we like. It's what we love to Bam. see. So um, yeah, actually speaking of speaking of uh, Nick Fury, I, I actually cannot. Nick Fury, I think, is one of the best support pieces printed in a very long yeah. time. Uh, mostly the you're, I'm not, not you're not gonna touch me if I, if I'm you know if I mean he's got shape change he's got Myself. a wit 300 point leadership there's for for all, all 45 all, all 45 points though is pretty absurd for this character um, Nick Fury I, is one of my favorite pieces I have not acquired him yet but I really think he's gonna make some some meta splash um, I think that starter cap's gonna make meta splash oh ha, well he, any uh, for anything that says free action movement I probably gonna honestly make. think he's the new starter Scarlet Witch you think so I you, think he's gonna be that well popular. for 50 points he's very hard to beat on an Avengers theme team it's 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 very it's very very hard to do not so. to mention he got awesome stats you know, yeah, yeah he, nine, he nine actually charge, he, after he's strike. after he's done his duty of moving everybody for free he still joins the free afterwards and can do things that's probably one of the best caps I've seen printed honestly yeah I, I think you're right I think you're right so, I can't think of a cap that's better uh, than him so um so you know, we're, we're excited to see that hopefully the, you know a little bit of Breathing room opens up in the middle. We start seeing this. Um, we, I, I've already started seeing arcade teams, and those are just those are more frustrating. Yeah, than I think they're they are not good. impossible to beat. But no, just, I, I, I've seen a great deal of teams beat the arcade teams. Yeah. Uh, it's just frustrating to deal with. Nobody, nobody, nobody enjoys it as much. Um, let's hear what other interesting things in the meta have popped up recently. Um, you think Ultron's going to see any meta? Um, it's what about that 8.2, 18.2? Well, the 18.2, I think it will probably be the biggest Ultron in terms of meta, mostly because 18.2 with a series of drones... Is uh, unkillable. Well, he keeps coming back. You just KO one of those yeah, and, and then, then put it back. Him. So he can get in the fray and really not care. And that's that's dangerous. A character that, while he isn't you know unkillable like a, a duper gluttony, can really dish out a ton of damage... And if you're not playing something equally as, you know, uh, you know... If you're not running like a Hulk or something like that... Even that, he hits like a truck. He really he really is an incredibly solid piece. I, I, we're assuming he'll see some meta play. A, a great... Non-tactics. Uh, an interesting sculpt. I think the other chase sculpt is better. The Phalanx the, one? The, no, no. What is he called? I can't remember. He's got, like, six arms. It's from a... Oh, yeah! yeah the, I think it's one. just a crazy-looking sculpt. I really like it. I yeah. don't necessarily think he's better than 18-2, because 18-2 no. can kill any... Ultron named person and go back to full health or, yeah. or something something very similar. You better you better keep your Hank Pym's close to you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Hank Pym, maybe, maybe might actually yes, see some play. Yes, actually, yeah. yeah. I honestly think the new 100 point, 50 point Hank Pym. Yeah, uh, mo not maybe because of the Ultron thing, but more or less because dude, he is he, he's, he's an AVX door yeah. with outweight <laughs> and probability control. Yeah, he's running he's, shot pulse wave with a 10 attack. Oh, the yeah, AVX right 11. But yeah, still. Yeah. No, I mean, he also hit for four, but even still, yeah. Hank Pym can do a lot of work, and that's kind of why I think he's kind of important. So, um, who else did we see very recently? Um, I, I, you know, there's a lot of pieces you like, but you know, we'll never see meta play. This Iron Man, for one, I mean, this, this is Iron Man, crazy fun piece, wonderful to play with. And if you are an amazing dice roller, and your pro, it doesn't have I think, prob, you just win. I think <laughs> the guy I was playing made 
I, I'm not even exaggerating this. He had we had five team, 500 point teams. We had five characters. He had like four turns pass when Iron Man was the only person on the field. So that was like 20 attacks. Yeah, and he just couldn't and, make anything happen. And if my super senses didn't get it, my defensive, <laughs> my trait got it. Yeah, just that ignore all that damage. Ignore all that damage. Ignore all that damage. It's awesome. Fun. Seeing so, action tokens on everybody. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, the, the round table is going to bring a lot of. Uh, 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 of proper play, I think uh, as we've seen, the Nova can be really, really good or really, really bad if you crit miss. That's not a stab at anybody. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can try to pulse wave eleven <laughs> characters all you want, but you still got to hit a roll to do it. <laughs> as we've learned as numerous we, times, as we've learned sometimes just going. You know, it'd be funny. It'd be funny if I pulse waved eleven people. And then just missing everything. <laughs> or just hitting the only person on your team. Yeah, that's in, included in that 11. Yes, yeah. that, that may happen. That's what, that's what it gets for having the lowest not defense. Pointing, not pointing <laughs> fingers or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's not, not, not including that. So uh, we have uh, we have a lot of interesting things uh, that will hopefully shake out of this meta. You know, we still have more sets. We still have Wave 2 to go. Uh, we, spoilers for Wave 2 look awesome. Um, you know, we might see some more. Uh, I mean, right now, I, I think almost guaranteed we got, we're going to see something come out of the Avengers Assemble set that really hits meta super hard. Avengers Assemble, let's yeah, see. I, mean, you, if, if it's, I honestly favor the melee characters, Ronan and Black Panther. If you, well, Ro- Ronan, we saw as a card already, is, is, is amazing. Comes in, charges, flurries, three damage. We saw Ronan get called in and destroy in worlds. I mean, like, compl- and that was that was, that was part of the Felix Foss team is that Ro- Felix Foss would be like, you know what, I can't do damage to you this turn, but guess who can? And, you know, and he yeah. just call him in, just rush in. So you see, you see that a lot, and I think you'll probably Ronan. I think just at at a, at a glance can be one of the strongest characters. Plus, once again, they stick around for your next turn, yeah. so they tie up whoever they they they've tried to bludgeon. Uh, so you, you see a lot of that. You see a lot of that. So well, like, look, what you see here's the deal: the, the big hindrance for melee characters was mobility. Usually, you were never able to get it. Ronin's, yeah, yeah. Ronin's an Avenger. Yeah, Black, all these big heavy hitter melee characters yes. are all Avengers. Yes, and they can all and be called in on yeah, the round table. They all can be called in, but at the same time, they can all be the moved starter by cap. set cap yeah, can, can move still all move them. them. Uh, yes, and that, I'll, I'll be honest that that starter set cap. If you haven't picked one of those up, oh I, saw, I saw them going for quite a bit. How much uh, are they going for? Well. Initially, there was a huge rush on them. I don't know why that was. I don't know if it's a limited release. I had actually seen them for like forty-five dollars. Starter the, sets? Yes, the starter sets. Um, and that's te- that's actually a sixteen-dollar MSRP or seventeen-dollar yeah. MSRP. Um, and I was seeing them for forty-five, fifty dollars in a lot of stores. Well, let me talk to my boss. See if we can get some more of those um, starter sets in here yeah, at Roll to Play. Roll to Play, where we only charge MSRP for. There we product. go. And there we go. And you know what? Paid another bill. We're good. We're good. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Sponsorship. Anyway, anyway so um. What, what do we think about, like, I mean, what, what are you going to run next ROC? Is, is, is next this, ROC? Is, is too early to tell? I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm aiming heavily towards Avengers if I do play. Yeah. You, uh, our personal ROC, I'm going to be judging. Yeah, well, there you go. But um, I honestly probably going to be running Avengers, considering that we have two big sets coming out that are going to be focusing yeah, on Yeah, even Avengers more. Even Shield. more. Yeah, Nick Fury and the yeah, Agent Nick of Shield. Fury, so we get... I'm going to abuse that starter set cap until it gets <laughs> rotated. Yeah. Rotated three you years from now. I love things that you can't do nothing about, and you can't do nothing about that cap. Yeah. He well, just sits in the starter You might be zone. able to say Maria Hill out with the thing. That's not a good tra- – eventually he's just going to say, okay, yeah, I just but that, that. that. That just soaks up 60 points of your team. Yeah, power, doing power actions to stop the cap from doing his bad things to you. So yes. a lot of interesting things. Uh, what shapes. about you? Me? Um, right now, I'm actually thinking that there there will be an Ultron team for no tactics. Oh, there has to be. Yeah. Do I think it'll hold up against a Super Scroll or Kyle team? We'll see. Once again, I'm not a big fan of tactics ROC. I'll have to wait till it hopefully rotates back around. Uh, but anyway, so um, I think that's about it, that's man. About it. Yeah, there we go. I mean, the rotation <laughs> I think made way for a lot of characters to come in because. I mean, there were a few times when I was building a team, and you I would instantly, miss, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use pieces for this just because bro, I knew you, Brother Voodoo was going to be played. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you you know mean. what I mean? Like, I you some pieces define meta. Brother Voodoo was a defining yes, piece yeah, he, of meta. He definitely, you know, chose your team for you. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. Um, and, and every time you were like, "Hey, I need something that's under 100 points. It's a good support piece," and that usually like, "Oh, well." Brother Voodoo is kind of a nice, easy answer. I don't have to devote too much thought to. Um, yeah. I think something also, real quick, I, said, I almost forgot about this piece. A piece that's definitely sure to see uh, tons of play until it rotates is probably one of my favorite pieces in the last few years is Banshee from Deadpool. Uh, Banshee being a... Ah, uh, Banshee. Whoa. Ban- Ban- Banshee can adjust 
the board state and the way your opponent has to play around him. And I, that, I really like that. I really like that style of piece. Yeah. And he's, an, he's, he's an answer to teams that you just can't answer. And that's what I love. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Look out for Banshee. I'm saying it, dude. Avengers teams are going to start making it. You're going to see a good it, splash. Dude. A good splash. There's I too ho- many. There's I too think much in it. Yeah. I, I actually think that's a positive. I think we need a little more diversity in, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the meta teams. And even in the non-meta teams. You know, let's, 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 let's play some new teams. Let's play some Ultron shenanigans. Run there this go. guy sometime. There you go. Anyway. Thank you for watching the stop click. As always, I am Matt Jackson. I'm Raven, and we are single. Yeah. Ladies. <laughs> See you next Have time. Have a good one.